soldering time. <clears throat> I was fortunate enough to be able to borrow this nice Vela uh, soldering iron. Fun nice halton. Yes, yes. Um, from my dad. So, these plugs, what do you want to call them? Pretty much all uh, follow the same principle. They're, they're all just hot glued in place. So, just push them forward and remove the hot glue. The glue is very brittle, so it should be able to snap entirely off. goes for the other ones. This is the uh, power switch and power LED. Let's just try it. Getting it out. Hmm. Maybe it's a bit stuck. Stubborn. Pretty easy, and the same for the LEDs. Um. Hey guys, just went to an electronic store and grabbed some supplies, some shrink tubing and some new IDC connectors in black. And um, I just wanted to show you guys these are the switches fitted to new wires and one of the LEDs. I'm just gonna do the last LED. So these are the cables that come with it and there are two sides to the LED. One of them has been sort of flattened um, while the rest is round. The one with the flattened edge is the minus. I think it's the anode. Pieces. I've decided to use the white and orange um, for this one, and the white and orange strand is going to be the minus. So, pop on some shrink tubing.
heat it up. And we're good. All four good to go. I'm gonna be sleeving these. And uh, once that's done, I know the length to get at the other end. And I'm gonna trim them down the other end. Okay, sleeving is almost done. Just finish off the um, front hard drive fan. I just wanted to show how to take apart the combined Molex fan power plug that Antec likes to use. I couldn't find this, so uh, it's pretty easy. I don't have any fancy Molex uh, tools, so I'm just using a screwdriver. Take apart the two pins on the uh, on these legs. So unlock them. I know you can't see anything, but just bear with me. And once that's done, this is a lid that opens just by. Twisting it like this. Neat. That's it. And uh, you're done. Putting it together is just, you need to expand the two pins that you pushed in. On the side. Um, Here we go. That way it locks again when you put it in. You can see the difference. That's it. All the sleeving is done. And I think it's turned out really nice. Um, Everything is sleeved. 
I'm going to replace this with a uh, Velcro bit, probably. But everything is uh, everything is made out of Cat Five regular unshielded twisted pair. I'm I know that USB and FireWire is supposed to be shielded, but um, yeah, fingers crossed. I hope it it's going to be okay. And all the connectors are have been changed to so-called IDC connectors. This one is FireWire, I think. Yep, yeah, and this is the USB one. I know there's no labels on it. Front panel and HD audio. Um, as you know, network cable is only eight wires and I needed nine. So one of them was just another ground. So easy way to do it. Little loop. And as you can see, the uh, cables can extend pretty far compared to last time. I'm going to be able to just slide in the case so it locks just, and then I'll be able to pull it all the way out, mount the cables, put it back in.